Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavind Mishra and in this video we will know how to use static import in REST Assured and uh, use REST Assured open source Java library to write test for RESTful APIs using behavior driven development also known as BDD. So we will write the test in BDD style and also see how to use assertion in response in REST Assured. Okay, so let me write one more uh, test ng method with uh, test annotation of course and uh, I can write the method over here so public wide test 2 and I can now I can maximize this window also right so here what you have to do you have to uh, basically uh, write the method write the method or write the code in the bdd style right for which you have to know like uh, the base uri right so which uh, i mean whatever is the whatever is the url which you are uh, going to you know use for your test so base uri will be nothing but my url right so request response and which i am going to i am going to use this method this uh, particular you know api right so till here it is my base uri we can copy and just paste it over here in the double quote and uh, and it is uh, giving me the error so what we have to do we have to go and uh, go to the rest assured official site and there you can search for uses okay we have to do static imports okay so for that uh, so here in this uh, rest assured io site you can go and uh, search for documentation and you can click on uses guide and uh, there you can find just press ctrl f and uh, search with static import the first content itself is a static import you can what you can do you can just copy these url from here and just paste it over the program your class basically in the import section okay so we'll do static import import static rest assured this is all already there so we'll just uh, do this like this and we will remove it from here okay so st import static and here we can put semicolon okay and also we will uh, okay we will write sta import static and for this also import static so this is how you can use this and we'll put semicolon of course here and here also okay so now it is uh, giving me the error so we can remove uh, this rest assured from here and use get as is okay so this is the beauty of a static import so you need not to have the class as such because you have already imported as a static import right you have already done that so now a uh, base uri is uh, uri is ready and uh, uh, we can use the bdd style uh, to write the uh, test case okay api test case so given and we have to know the end uh, point basically so end point here will be your users question mark page equal to two so this is the end point of the url end point of the api basically okay so in the given given when the even get so inside get you have to use that end point which is nothing but the your end point so this is that url end point and after that you have to put dot and after this what you can do just come down and write so till here it is all fine then you have to write then okay and what you are expecting after that so we are not uh, having any so this is my prerequisites and then uh, we we are expecting okay so this is my action i mean we are we are getting this 
we are targeting this uh, particular endpoint and then we are expecting a status code started a status code as 200 okay and and we'll uh, go down i mean we you can uh, keep you can uh, write in continuation also you can uh, write it in the next line okay after dot so we are expecting that body uh, should have some data right so as in when you hit this uh, you are getting some id and that id contains uh, uh, something like this uh, email id equal to eight right so you don't know i mean uh, looking at this particular response right you don't know like how to read this response json response so for which uh, you can go ahead and uh, just try to you know beautify the response so i will use uh, json pathfinder okay so what is the intention over here is like uh, just to beautify the response and uh, validate okay in like uh, whatever uh, response we are getting uh, from that uh, api this get request http request i mean this whatever it, it is uh, giving me the response whatever response it is giving me whether in that body we have some particular you know element or data or not so we are trying to you know validate that so let us see if this particular you know api gives me id 10 or not okay so in certain you know section it will have uh, 8 or so let us target for 8 or 9 maybe so let me just uh, copy this particular response over here okay and to get the proper json so i have opened json pathfinder and i will put it here okay so i will just beautify it and when you beautify it uh, you will have something like this okay so you will get the path which exactly what path and you can come over here and uh, see the one and it has id uh, eight two it has id nine so let's click on this id and we will get the path okay so which we are going to use uh, in the code inside the script so what i can write here is just remove x from here and inside this data to basically data to this is the order right this is the sequence i am having this id equal to 9 okay so data 2 will have id 9 so let me put equal so this is how we can we can validate we can put the assertion okay so this is the end of the script and now yeah we are ready so we have written our test script in um, uh, bdd style and uh, using given and then and status code and we are uh, putting one assertion over here okay and also we have uh, customized our uh, the existing uh, test method uh, with the static import okay which we have done so hamcrest matcher and matcher rest assured matches we have imported these uh, libraries okay so let us just do the ready format and run this program i will save and run it so let me just uh, minimize and you can see both are fine so test and get request both are successful both the tests are passed okay we can see the console also so if uh, you can just go to the summary all the test you can see the console here so both the tests are passed and uh, if you want to see the log you don't see the log here you can uh, put the log also after this you can probably put log log dot log and you can press all okay so this is how you can uh, add logs into the test i will run it again this should be successful again 
and it should provide me the log okay enough log to um, just look at the response so you can see all these uh, json has been captured in the log you can see paste to id 7 and this is what we have validated right id 9 so this is found and proper so if i have to use a different maybe 10 which is not there right so in this case it sh the test should be failed right so let us i have changed it to 10 and let us run it again see the test 2 has been failed and this is the assertion failure okay so expectation failed json path data 2 id doesn't match expected is 10 and actual is 9 so it has 9 which is why it is has it has been failed all right so that's it from this video and uh, we will uh, see uh, uh, other stuff related to rest assured in the next video so that's it from this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching